Hello guys, today we'll see this water damaged iPhone 11 Pro Max. Let's try to save it and see the steps we have to follow. He is Leonardo and this afternoon we'll work with this device that doesn't turn on. The client wanted to disassemble it to remove the battery connector, but he has broken both flecks of the screen. will not take too long with the disassembly process, so first of all, we remove the battery connector. Even the frame of the screen is stuck to the chassis. Making this kind of mistake is normal because our client has no experience to repair mobile devices. Here we can observe the two broken connectors. We continue removing the other connectors as well. Don't forget the SIM card tray. In the next step, we have to loosen the screws that hold the motherboard. Now it's time to remove the motherboard. We apply a little of isopropyl alcohol to remove the foam protection and in this way we can reuse it. We continue with our visual inspection of the motherboard. Here we can see some corrosion. Around here we also have signs of humidity. We should clean well this area and observe the path connection. And also is necessary to inspect the area of union of the two parts of the motherboard. Let's start with the superficial cleaning using contact cleaner and the GBC metal brush. Don't be in a hurry, just do it well, trying to remove all the corrosion from the motherboard.
We use a hot air gun at 70 Celsius degrees during 3-4 minutes to assure that we eliminate all the humidity. We take advantage of this test screen that we have in our workshop to check the motherboard. We connect the e-power to the power supply, selecting the voltage and the battery amperage. Guys, and don't forget the like, for us it's very important to continue with this project. Sounds silly, but it's the best way to improve the content of our channel and record real repairs from our laboratory. 70% of repairs that you are going to find in a store, there are easy repairs that any technician can solve it using common sense. Things change if you dedicate yourself to repair devices for other stores. But for now we continue with our repair. Let's turn on the motherboard and see what happens. So far, good news. It seems that our device turns on. Finally, we've got the image on the screen. Right now, we have to assemble the device and check it well. Another important step is to put the device on the safe mode. If the power supply stays very close to zero periods, then the device doesn't have any consumption and everything is going right. Remember that any short circuits on the motherboard can leave the device unusable. For this reason, when we've gotten a water damaged device, first we need to remove the battery. In this way, our repair can have a 95% success. Each minute is passing without removing the battery, we are less likely to save the device. Keep it in mind. Guys, he's Leonardo. This was today's video. Hope you like it. See you soon. Bye bye.